We're here with Pro Football <laughs> Hall of Fame inductee Joe Klecko. 30 years. Yep. 30 years. The wait is over. It's an awesome wait. It was. It was, uh, you know, uh, filled with my roadblocks in my mind, you know, but uh, what a grateful thing. What it really is. It's. It's a, it's a tremendous thing, you know. I, I, the one thing I really, you know, I'm going to have it, but I, I wish they would have been here is all my kids, you know. Uh, my, my daughter, Mary Catherine's with me tonight, you know, but I wish they were all, because yeah, it was a pretty good deal, you know, in, in, the, in, the, uh, in the studio there and stuff, you know, to, to be introduced in front of the crowd like that. So uh, that, getting to this point now, you know, it's like, it's a relief. But, you know, again, it hasn't really sunk in totally yet. But the great thing is you talk about your kids. You're going to be able to celebrate this with your grandkids as well. Yeah, that, <laughs> that, that really is a big point, you know, because, you know, uh, when we're going, we're going to go out to Canton and, uh, you know, I've got in my immediate family between my children and my grandchildren, I have 20, 20 people, and it's going to be a great week. Uh, they, actually, uh, they, they actually rented a bread and breakfast place, a, a big house, a really nice place for all of us. It'll be cool. So I'm going to enjoy that, you know, beyond anything. And as I was talking to Joe Horrigan, you know, Joe who runs the Hall of Fame for years, uh, who's been around since, you know, uh, you know, they they made the wagon wheel I think before he died before he got there but you know he's been around forever but uh, you know uh, he's telling me just wait you know you think it's great now he said wait it's going to be fantastic when Joe Namath came to your home knocked on the door you open you open up the door what was that moment like honestly exhilarating it was uh, I, I don't know if, have you guys seen it yet. No, I haven't oh, seen it. Let me tell you something. I have one from my daughter for, who took it behind me, you know, and uh, it is just the best part of it was Joe. It really was because, you know, I, I give Joe every accolade. Joe's Joe's probably one of the greatest, you know, uh, 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 people for the for the NFL. Yeah. Joe is just an icon, you know, and for him to come to my house, what a great feeling. And it, it was a it was a, a cheerful, glorious time when it happened. It was. You know, you're going to be immortal now. Uh, you know, when that bus goes into Canton, Joe Klecko going to be there forever. Yeah. You know, uh, one of the most versatile defensive linemen in the history of this league, and you're getting recognized for that. Have you thought about Joe Klecko's bust up there? You know, I haven't, and I think that's one of the things. Like, uh, they're telling me about too about the luncheon we're going to have. And when we start getting measured for uh, our uh, jackets and, and, and our bust, and we're going to have a lot of Hall of Famers there. And you're going to start trading stories with them and stuff and things. You know, it, it's, it's going to be awesome. And I always said that about having my jersey retired. You know, and I said, I says, when I'm gone, my grandkids will see that. You know what I mean? And now to have this, oh, this is just greatest. What would you have told a young Joe Klecko, about what was ahead as far as his pro football career, what you were about to accomplish, and then in 2023, you're about to enter the Pro Football Hall of Fame. You know, I wish he was still alive in Dan Sikanovich because my first two years I had played so well, I really thought I w should have been in the Pro Bowl. And I went to Dan and I said to him, I said, Dan, what do I have to do to get into Pro Bowl? And he said to me, Joe, uh, yeah, you're not gonna have you're not gonna have to worry about the Pro Bowl. You're gonna have to worry about when you get in the Hall of Fame, and that stuck with me through my whole career. And w whether it was a driving force, I don't think it was as much because that's my makeup, the way I played. But that was one of the things that was said to me early in my career that really was. Now that it happened, that's you know that's really cool. Dominant defensive end, dominant defensive tackle, dominant at nose tackle. Can you talk about playing in New York and what kind of connection you had with the fans? Well, that's – I talked about that earlier on stage tonight about how tremendous it is to play in New York. You know, Daryl Rivas and I have one of the greatest things in common. We have two of the, two of the coolest names to belong to uh, – attached to you in pro football. Rivas is Island. 
and the New York Sack Exchange. I mean, it's amazing how people remember us, the guys who played, now, again, 30 years later or more, you know, that they still remember it. The fans of New York, I've always said this, are the smartest fans in the country. They can tell you statistics. They can tell you about everything. And when they accept you as a, as a good player or somebody that you think cares about them, there's no other greater fans there is. Well, you're one of the greatest football players of all time. Who's going to Canton here in a few months. Joe Clacko, congratulations on your induction tonight. Thanks. It was a great one, and it's going to get better.